What's up guys, Sick Crazy here. Today I'm bringing you guys another episode of High School Stories. I believe this is episode 5 or episode 6. Uh, I'm not sure when I uploaded my last High School Stories, but I'll check on that. Um, pretty sure it's 6 though. Um, but today I'm bringing you guys a carrier gameplay. I go 25 and 5. I end up getting my Warthog. Um, it's actually weird because I'm watching this game on my TV and my capture card. My, my system is a little bit behind. Uh, actually, speaking of that, I... Um, I got my new capture card, so I have a new software to record with, so it's a lot better for commentaries. So, with that being said, live comps are going to be a lot better and more frequent, and live streams are going to be so much more often. Um, Friday night, I'll probably do an all-night live stream because I have Nate coming over my house and we'll take shifts. So, um, yeah. Actually, I can't believe I didn't see that guy there. Anyway, so... Um, Today is, like I said, high school stories episode, whatever. Um, so I'm gonna talk to you guys about the time I first, the first time I ever packed up in a suit, um, like I, I ever packed up in an air pack. If you guys don't know what that means, packing up is a term used for putting on an air pack and putting on your air mask, so that way you can breathe in a building. Now, this was for drill, so I obviously didn't go into a building. Um, Obviously, I, I also didn't because I'm below 18, so I can't. I'm 15. Um, so, anyway, we, um, our drill that night was a car. Uh, we had a car, we lit a car fire. Um, we lit a car on fire with wood pallets that we uh, tore up. And the car was donated to us. Here you can see I'm lagging, actually. Um, but the car was donated to us so we could use it for training purposes. We had cut it up the week before for a vehicle rescue drill. I'm using. I'm going to be using some terms that you guys won't understand. Vehicle rescue is what it sounds like. Vehicle rescue. Someone's been trapped in a car. You're going to pull them from the vehicle. Um, so we used it the week before. We have no use for it. So they wanted to teach us how to put out a car fire. So they did. They taught us... Um, we had to put air packs on because a car fire has heavy, heavy uh, magnesium levels and heavy gas levels. Uh, it's very smoky too, so it's going to be hard to breathe if you don't have an air pack on. So um, it's actually very scary at a car fire because if the tank catches on fire or if there's something in the trunk that you don't know about, it's going to explode. So, for example, we didn't check the trunk and there was paint cans. If you don't know, paint cans are highly explosive. Um, when when overheated, so the flame, the paint cans are probably at to like 2,000 degrees because they're on fire. So the car blew up like four times. Gas tank, transmission pistons, and paint cans. Um, so of course I'm sitting there shaking because it's my first time ever seeing it. I'm like three feet away from the car. I'm do I don't want to. I like I'm fearing for my life. I I'm not afraid to admit that I was scared. Um, and. The lieutenant, I'm going to call him Ethan because that's his name. Uh, lieutenant Ethan. Well, I'm just going to call him Ethan. I'm not going to call him lieutenant. Um, so Eth anyway, Ethan says, calm down. It's fine. You're going to be okay. Uh, now he's, And then he tells me to put the knob on. So I, I turn the hose on, put water on the fire, and I'm good. Um, put the fire out. Uh, had a very... Uh, there's a very like learning experience. I learned that uh, like how the angles you attack a car fire from and stuff like that. So it's actually a very good drill. That uh, one of the best drills I've ever been to. One of the most fun. But it was very hot. It was probably be probably about 85 degrees and like 90% humidity. If you guys don't know, Pennsylvania is very humid. Uh, we don't get as high temperatures as Arizona, but. Our state usually feels like Arizona because of the because of the humidity, so it's like sticky. It's horrible. Um, yeah, so it's like very humid out, and um, yeah. So I'm gonna stop right here. I'm just gonna actually now. Nah. So I'm gonna stop right here. Cut out. Just cut out the part. Um, actually, I'm not gonna cut it out. I'm just gonna select another theater gameplay live for you guys. So, because um, I still have way more to the story. Um, so end the film. Oops. See, what's nice about this new capture card is I won't have to render anything together. So yeah, I'm just talking about that for a second until I find a gameplay I want to use. I think I'm gonna use my, um, my uh, 2289. Yeah, that's what I'll use. 
Okay, so drone twenty two and nine. Most of my gameplays I play mostly team deathmatch. So yeah. Um so anyway, I learned a lot from this this uh car fire drill. Uh you learn like angles to attack fires from, you learn tons of things. Um But at one point this guy, Pat, um he I was out of air and I had already gone through two bottles because it was about an hour and a half. Each bottle's a forty five minute bottle. So I ran out of air, and I, I said to Ethan, I was like, what do you want me to do? I'm out of air. He's like, oh, well, we're not going to swap your pack out. We're going to knock it this time. So um, so just leave your, you leave your hose off, your air hose off. Because if you guys haven't ever seen an air mask, there's, a, there's the mask part that comes off, and then there's a hose that you put on the front. They, that's where, yeah, it's hard to explain if you guys, like, don't say it. Um, so, um... I'm sitting there, I'm very overwhelmed, and um, and then Pat comes up to me, sticks his hand over the hole where the air is coming in, instead of the air, like where the air, there's no air hose, and he goes, what did you forget? And I go, I, f I don't have my air hose on, but, uh, but, uh, I called him LT, because I, I mess with the guy, he doesn't like being called LT, so I called him LT, I said, LT told me not to put that, the air hose on, and he's like, well, that's not smart, and he kept his hand over there, and I was like, whatever, I'm going by what LT said, and, um, if you guys don't know, LT stands for lieutenant, it's just, a, uh, sometimes we keep call him, um, He's gone. so, anyway, um, he's standing there, and Ethan's standing there, and Pat still has his hand over my face, Pat's probably about 30 years old, um, that kill I just got was so nice, because I was stunned and I jump shot at the guy. Anyway, um, so I'm like, I'm having, I can't breathe because he's got my thing sealed. So finally I shove him off my arm, or I shove his arm off my mask. Let's go, let's go. And then he's like, respect your senior members or something along those lines. And I'm like, dude, you had your hand in my face. I couldn't breathe. And I, and this guy's probably about six foot four, maybe six foot three, maybe six two. So he's, he's bigger than me. He's about five inches, six inches, seven inches taller than me. I'm um, five nine five five nine five ten area. So he's bigger than me. He um but I'm not afraid and I'm, I just walk up to him. I took my mask off and I said, Listen, you ever do that again, I will not I will be the first person to punch you. Um I'm not trying to act like a tough guy, this is seriously what happened and L well Ethan said um says uh Hey pack over to the truck and check some tools. I think he asked him to get him a house and bar, and then he told me to calm down and back up. He said he knew my emotions were high, knew I was overwhelmed, and told me I could unpack and I could just go and sit down and relax for the rest of the drill. And then, um, so, yeah, that was it. And then, uh, I, today I'm back in, um, or today I went back to the station. Well, actually, wait, I'm going to give a little bit of the story afterwards. Um, so afterwards, we we put everything back on the trucks. I bring over seven, or the eight air bottles we used um, to the to uh, the driver Nick, who's using a um, who's using the rescue to. We have a CAD system, which is a, I, I don't know what the what CAD stands for, but it fills up the air bottles. It's a, I think it's a compressed air deployment system or something like that. I don't I don't don't quote me on that, but I think that's what it means. Um, so, uh, anyway, I bring him over to the CAD system so that Nick can fill them up. He's the driver of the rescue. So he's filling up the bottles, and then I'm cleaning off air masks and putting on putting bottles back in their air packs. Because if you guys don't know, bottles come out of their air packs, and you can just switch out bottles. It's very easy, very hard to explain, though. Um, so, anyway, um, where was I? Oh, so I'm putting bottles and back in their packs and putting air masks away and cleaning air masks and stuff like that. Philly's lost. Um, and I'm, do, I'm just sitting there working very hard. And um, this guy, Matt, has the nerve to come up to me and say, or today I, I was sitting there after a call and I was like, wow, my gear's still sweaty from yesterday. And I said something along those lines and he goes, well, you act like you actually did something, and I just looked at him, and I gave him the death, the death stare, and I'm like, I did way more than you. You sat back, goofing off and laughing at some of our reactions, while I'm up there putting out this car, 
while I'm over here cleaning the masks, while I'm over here working harder than you've worked in your life. Uh, the guy's like 20, doesn't go to high school, just graduated high school last year, so he's been held back twice, and he's, uh, he's not going to college right now, so, uh, he doesn't have a job, he's looking for one, I have to give him credit for that, but, um, yeah, so, I'm, I'm just thinking, like, you have, you have guts, Ooh, wow, that voice crack, you have guts saying that, um, that was a stupid play I just made. But I'm like, you have guts saying that, and he's, and uh, I I pulled this kid Brandon aside who hates Matt, and I said that, I told Brandon about it. He's like, dude, you work harder than any of us at drill. He's like, you work, you you bust your butt trying to train and try to trying to be the best damn firefighter you can ever be. And then, um, the deputy chief actually last night, well. The night I'm making this video was the night before. The deputy chief comes up to me when I'm ranting about how Firefighter Giggles, which is Joe Unleashed, you guys have seen him in my videos, and he'll probably see this, but I'm ranting about how he's asking me to do three different things while I'm already doing two different things, and he was sitting there playing on his phone, and I was ranting to the deputy chief, and he goes, well, just know that he will never be half the firefighter you will be. You have a great, you, you have great potential you will be a great one, and I have a great head on my shoulders, and you're very dedicated and stuff like that. He, he, he just kept complimenting me, and it, it made me feel a lot better. Um, it's just frustrating when, like, it, like, you know you're working hard and it's not paying off, or it feels like it's not paying off, and it feels like it's going unnoticed. And But the, the deputy chief definitely uh, put those thoughts to to bed, uh, or put those thoughts to rest, I guess would be the better term for it, and, um, definitely made me feel better about it, um, definitely, like, he basically told me that I'm gonna be a great firefighter, which made me, made my night, so, uh, I had a great night that night, even though it was very stressful, it was very fun, too, and I got some great compliments, so, yeah, and, I know you guys probably think I'm not very dedicated because in one, my one video I got a call and we uh, and I said I'm not going, but I go to most calls. Only time I don't go is if it's after curfew. So yeah, um, I try not to talk about that stuff on my channel too much because I talk. That's like all I talk about in real life. So yeah, uh, so I went 22 and nine in this game, 25 and five in the first game. So, comment, like, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, it'll be down in the description below. As always, guys, this has been Sick Crazy. Hopefully you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.